I'm Lynn Lowry. I'm the Case Fit Research and Extension Horticulture Agent for Wyandotte County. And our office is located at 1216 North 79th Street, actually across from the old Kmart. The reason I'm giving you our address is a lot of my job revolves around samples that are brought into our office, either plant identification, soil test recommendations, or insect identification. Soil tests. If you want to know how to fertilize your gardens and what your soil pH is, you would bring a sample to our office and we're open from 8 to 4.30, closed over the lunch hour from 12.30 to 1.30. And we will process your soil through K-State's lab and then I will write the recommendation on how to fertilize either your lawn, your trees, your shrubs, or your gardens. Another part of my job is recommending adaptable plant materials that do really well in the Kansas City area. A lot of our big box stores like Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, they bring in plants from all over the country. And not all of those plants are adapted to our zone, which is zone 5 to 6A. The other thing we talk about are best management practices. How do we irrigate our lawns, our gardens? How do we fertilize our lawns and our gardens? How do we take care of pest control? The other part of my job is to be the advisor to the Extension Master Gardeners. We have about 45 active Master Gardeners in Wyandotte County. They have seven projects throughout Wyandotte County, most of those being demonstration gardens. The other unique project that we have at the Turner Community Garden is the aquaponics, which is a relationship between growing plants using fertilizer from fish that we grow as well. So you'll have to check out these projects. We're also actively involved in youth programs throughout the county, teaching kids where their food comes from and how to eat healthy. The other thing we do is we do speaking engagements for different groups like Kiwanis, um, schools, you name it, we will provide a speaker on horticultural topics. My name is Janet Winkler and I'm a Master Gardener with Kansas State Extension Service and today we are going to learn a fun project called Bean in a Cup. First you need to gather supplies. Beans, you can either buy a package of beans like you would plant in a garden or you can even use just pinto beans that you buy in the store. They will actually grow. So you need beans, you need paper towels. Each cup will use two paper towels. And then you need any kind of a plastic cup, clear, because the idea is we're gonna watch the bean grow inside the cup. So two paper towels, a cup, beans, and a little bit of water. This is what a bean seed looks like blown up. Inside of each bean is the potential for a plant. So the cotyledon, which is the main bean, that is the new leaf, and that's where the food for the bean is going to come from. There's a root system, which emerges first, then there's a stem, and then there's the true leaves, which open up and become the bean plant. And there's a coat around the whole bean seed which protects the bean until it's ready to start germinating. When conditions are favorable, your seed will start to germinate, which means to start growing. So when the temperature is right and there's enough moisture, then the seed will start germinating. From a bean seed or any kind of seed, the first thing emerges is a root. And then the root gets longer, the, the cotyledon, which is the food, or the first leaves, begin to emerge above the soil. Then the true leaves come out. They reach up for light or sun, and that's when photosynthesis can begin and the plant makes its own food. Step one to plant your bean cup, you get your cup, you take one of the paper towels, you leave it folded, you wrap it around your hand, kind of hold it with your thumb. You're going to insert it into the cup. Don't worry if it doesn't quite stand up right, but there you go. 
Then you take your second paper towel, you're going to make a snowball out of it. And you don't want it real tight, just kind of a loose snowball. This is going to go in the middle of your paper towel, so it'll look like that. And if your paper towel starts coming out, just poke it back in. All right? Then you're going to add a little bit of water on top of the snowball. The water will start wicking into the paper towel. Then you're going to take three bean seeds and you want to place them on the outside because the idea is to watch the seed germinate or grow. You want it to go about halfway down. If it falls all the way to the bottom, just fish it out, bring it back up to the top. So about a third of the way around, each way, so you're going to put three seeds in. There you go. Now, this will need to be placed in a sunny window, and you will need to keep it moist. You don't want it to be soppy wet, so if there's just a little bit of water in the bottom, that's okay, but you don't want the cup half full of water. Otherwise, your beads will rot or they'll drown. So slightly moist, so every day you need to check it for moisture. And what you do is sit and wait for your bean to germinate. Once your seed cup is planted, your bean will start to grow. Now, it takes anywhere from a week to two weeks, so be patient. But the coat will start to swell, it'll crack. The roots come out first. This one is about two weeks old, so after two weeks, two weeks after germinating, so actually about three weeks from planting. The root comes out, then the cotyledon comes up, that's these little baby leaves here, that's the first food for the bean plant. The stem, which the roots absorb moisture, and the stem is actually like a straw, so the moisture comes up to the plant and it's also stiff and holds the leaves up. Then your true leaves come up and they are going to be reaching for sunlight so they can make use photosynthesis and make their own food. So basically, this is three weeks old. Now we're going to learn how to take care of our seed cups. Helping me today is Lynn Lowry. She's the horticulture agent for Wyandotte County Extension, and she's the advisor for our Master Gardener program. So we're going to discuss plant needs. To help you remember the things plants need, we're going to spell out the word plants. Each letter stands for something plants need to grow. So starting with P, plants need a place. So the place for your little seed is your cup. It can also be a pot. After the first of May, you can actually plant them right into the garden soil. Okay, next we have L. L stands for light. Plants need light, which outdoors they get from the sun. They use energy from the sun in photosynthesis to make their own food. Also indoors, you can put them in a bright window or you can put them under a bright light. Next we have A. A stands for air. Just like people breathe in air, plants need air also. So they get air from the wind, from the oxygen in the room, Air is made up of two parts, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Plants need carbon dioxide, which is what we exhale. We need oxygen, which plants respirate, so we make a great team. Okay, next we have N. N stands for nutrients. Nutrients are the food that plants and all living things need to grow and be healthy. So plants get their nutrients from the soil, which has minerals and the items they need. We can also add a little bit of fertilizer to make them grow good. Next we have T. This is a little tricky. T means plants get really thirsty. So just like you need water, we are made up of a good percentage of water, plants are also. 
So without water, they would die rather quickly. So again, you need to keep your cup moist. Not too wet though, because they can drown. So moist. Most of the time outdoors, they would get their water from rain, but you could also give extra water from a hose. Next we have S. S stands for soil. Now these cups are soilless because the idea is for you to see how the plant's growing. But again, the first of May, you can plant your beans or any other seeds outdoors in the soil. And as long as there's good nutrients, there's moisture in the water, there's air to breathe, light, and they're in their happy place.